city let me just say and i'm sure many of you saw the snippet last night on t v twelve if you didn't i'll repeat myself i am not a fan of public act four i am not a fan of public act four i think that it merits the challenges that mr jordan and others across the state are weighing against its constitutionality but however my friends the city of flint went under an exhaustive review this past fall of its finances late september governor snyder dispatched through the state treasury department a team of individuals who did a very very forensic review of the financial condition of our city they concluded in october that our city is under severe financial stress the audit most recently completed audit of our most recently closed fiscal year has again confirmed that our city is under severe fiscal stress as a taxpayer as a resident and as a native of this great city of flint i believe all of us would acknowledge that we deserve healthy strong and a safe city a city that is able to provide the level of services that are equivalent to the level of taxes that its residents pay the management of our fiscal house uh, over a sustained period of time have put those delivery of basic services in our city under some severe challenges we, as has been said by other panelists, are not like other older urban cities across this nation, across this state, and particularly right here in Southeast Michigan, uh, where there are currently emergency financial managers in other areas of Southeast Michigan. You the, you, the audience, should know that there's 40 other areas in Michigan that are facing the same type of severe financial stress as Flint is enduring. And while it is always thought that this legislation unfairly targets urban areas in our state, among those 40 areas that are under and on the brink of in doing the same thing we do, you must know that many of them are not predominantly urban areas. We have a tremendous challenge. Uh, our current financial manager has approached this particular endeavor in a much more different way than any of the prior emergency financial managers have. He has engaged the community at large. I'm very great, grateful to be one of five who serve on the advisory council. But along with the five of us who serve on the advisory council, 50 other individuals across this community have been engaged in an active and very, very thoughtful deliberation on how we write our fiscal ship in the city of Flint. So in my view, my dear friends, we have two issues. We have an issue regarding the constitutionality of Public Act 4, but we have a more, more, much more pressing issue, and that's writing our fiscal house in the city of Flint so that we can get and so that we can establish and maintain a legacy for our offsprings a better livelihood for ourselves, a safer community for us all. And in the past, we have not been able to achieve those outcomes. Certainly, uh, our state's bold approach to this uh, is indicative, indicative of many of the other laws that is on the books in the state of Michigan and across this nation. Public Act 4 is a law that has triggers in it that if those triggers are not violated, the law is not enacted. Much like capital punishment, if you don't commit a crime that equals capital punishment, you have nothing to worry about. It is my clear, clear understanding that what has gone on in our city, what we are currently undergoing and undertaking is deserving of the type of look that Mike Brown and others of uh, this particular administration is doing to right the ship. You need to know that the elected persons that we have elected, including our most recently re-elected mayor, are all involved in this deliberation. 
So your vote, our vote, has not totally been canceled out. But there's some very, very, very hard work that needs to be done to get our house back in order. So I look forward to your questions tonight, and hopefully we can clarify some things that will make you further understand that there's two issues, the soon-to-be validated constitutionality of the act, but the very, very necessary actions of all of us to write our fiscal house in the city of Flint.